What prayer has done. Confess your faults to one another and pray for one another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much. James 5.16 Anglican minister Jeremy Taylor, 1630-1667, was accurately aware that man is nothing. God is everything, and prayer changes things. He wrote, The prayers of men have saved cities and kingdoms from ruin, raised the dead to life, stopped the violence of fire, and shut the mouths of wild beasts. Prayer has altered the course of nature, caused rain in Egypt and drought in the sea, made the sun go from west to east and moon to stand still, and rocks and mountains to walk. Prayer cures his diseases without medicine, makes medicine do the work of nature, nature to do the work of grace, grace to do the work of God, and does miracles of accident and event. Yet prayer that does all this is of itself nothing but an ascent of the mind to God. It is the desiring of things fit to be desired and an expression of this desire to God. Our unwillingness to pray is nothing else than our not desiring what we ought to passionately long for, or if we do desire it, choosing rather to miss our satisfaction and pleasure than to ask. What a travesty for anyone to subdue prayer when so much good comes from so little struggle. As William S. Plummer, 1802-1880, stated, past answers to prayer should encourage us to come the more boldly to the throne of grace. Friend, it would be impossible to record what all prayer has done, but remember, there is no limit on what prayer can do. This devotion is taken from the Reverend Steve Hill's book, Daily Awakenings, and have a blessed day.